Hi guys, welcome to this new video on how to use DSM-2 Bout Lister. So this is a video that I promised uh, to do for some of the students. So let's go through now. So what are the main features of DSM Bout Lister? So if you're using DSM Bout Lister, you probably know that some of the main features which includes it helps you to save time, uh, especially if you want to bout list item. Uh, we are talking about bout listing 20 to 50 items. So do not try to list more than 50 items at one shot. You could break it down into chunks of uh, 20 or 30s each time. And of course, uh, you can schedule uh, listing for the weekend, especially if you are not working or you decided to go for holidays. And it, with this uh, bout lister, you actually can plan uh, consistently uh, your listing per day. Uh, so that you can be seen as uh, someone that is actively on eBay. Uh, of course, uh, these tools does help you in terms of some automation. So let's take a look at some of the disadvantages. Well, some of the disadvantages that you need to be aware of about listing is include lower listing quality. What do I mean by lower listing quality is that basically when you bout list, you're unable to change uh, the details which includes the item specific which you need to log in to uh, your eBay account. And you also need to check for the uh, listing that you actually decided to bout list, are they completed successfully? So checking is always required. And of course, uh, like mentioned, item specific, if you need to edit them, you need to edit them directly on eBay, uh, whether you want to include more item specific or you want to remove some. As we know that uh, DSM to some of the uh, features uh, you can do directly, which includes the changing of eBay titles and the listing uh, profit margins as well as the quantity of the item. And of course, uh, when you do bout list, the uh, profit margin is more or less fixed. If you fix it at 10%, 20%, it will be fixed for each individual listing. Uh, of course, uh, you will want to change them according to the profit margin that you have planned for, if you want to. So do take note, do not change the pricing on eBay side. If you want to change any settings, do change it from DSM side. And of course, the uh, default listing policy will be applied if you are listing uh, items together. Uh, some of the items could be having a different uh, listing policies that you need to be aware of and do take note of this when you are list, uh, listing uh, items that's in bulk. So let's take a look at the bulk listing uh, in action. I've just uh, captured some uh, screenshot for you uh, just to save time. Uh, later on, we'll go through the, the second part of the uh, bulk listing. So on this screen uh, shot, you can see that basically I've selected the source, which is AliExpress. You can select uh, Amazon.com and the target I selected uh, eBay UK. You can select eBay USA. And you can see that the second, uh, you can see that the third arrow is pointing to a series of number. So these are basically a source ID. So for Amazon side, we have the ASIN. You can uh, actually put the ASIN over here. And each ASIN, you need to separate it with a comma. Yeah, so it's in horizontal format. Do not uh, list them as a vertical and, and putting a comma just uh, to break the line. Uh, this, uh, in a way, I've tested, it does not run as fast. Okay, so when you click the continue or submit button, it will be submitted into the system wherever it's, it's being placed into a queue. Okay, so you can see that in this screenshot, basically it's preparing five items to be uploaded. And once the uh, status bar turned blue all the way, basically the item is ready to be continued to publish or to be edited. As you can see for this screenshot is that there are some errors that have been created uh, while uploading in process. Uh, even though the uh, status bar is all green and we can click the continue button, but you, need, you do need to uh, fix all these errors if you do have these errors and you can view it on DSM site. Okay, so when there is no error, you see that ready to publish five items uh, pointed by the red arrow and then click on the continue button. Now do not click on the auto publish button because you need to change uh, the uh, title as well as the images or to add more images into uh, your listing. So let's uh, go online now to take a look uh, from this point onward. Okay, so after I click the continue button, I'll be brought to this page where I have all my listing over here. You can change the listing title over here to make it that it's about maxing out the 80 characters. 
or you can actually add more pictures or collage the image. You can also change the profit margin here if you want to. If not, after you publish, you can still change the profit margin plus the quantity of the item. So I left the last one to, uh, to show you in terms of uh, collaging the images. So to add collage is basically very simple on DSM side. Once you have subscribed to the DSM plan, what you can do is just click on this button called Auto Fill. So you can see that all the picture is auto fill uh, with uh, the different uh, collage together. And the next step you need to do is just to press the Add Collage button. So the collage uh, image is added over here. You just need to make sure that you select as the primary pictures. And the next step you need to do is to click on the Publish Now or to Schedule. So for the purpose of this demo, let's take a look at the schedule. You can schedule uh, when you want to publish it, or you want to. Uh, you can select a date over here. Say, for example, I want to publish on Friday or Saturday. Say, for example, Saturday, and you can choose the time. What time you want to publish? Uh, probably the time where your buyer is awake, probably at nine a.m. Yeah, and you can just click on schedule. Uh, if not, totally skip the steps and just go back to click on the green button called Publish Now. Okay, so items are processing. They will be added to the listing queue. So where can you find the listing queue? You can click on this button called the watch queue. Or alternatively, you can click on this button on uh, on the left hand side. That is look like a download button. But actually, it's, uh, they're actually trying to list the products. So once everything is uh, imported and uh, into your eBay store, you will see the status over here. And if there's no error, it will change to done and everything we publish on the eBay store. Okay, I hope this is helpful for you. If you'd like to get more value out of these videos, you can always follow me on uh, YouTube or at the same time, you can join us at facebook.com slash groups slash dropshipmastery and I will see you in the next video.